Well, hello, welcome back to another episode of our Tour of Japan series here in GeoGuessr. Today we are headed over to Totori Prefecture, uh, not too far from my home in Kyoto. Uh, one of the prefectures I have visited, so I'll get to be able to throw in a little bit of the local knowledge, so to speak, as someone who's been there. Uh, yeah, but without further ado, let us just get into this one. Single player challenge, four minutes. Here we go. Uh, Totori is really interesting. Uh, it's on the coast sea of Japan, so the western coast. And we're going to go downhill. Tends to be better. Uh, but as you can see, like a lot of Japanese prefectures, one side is ocean, one side is mountains. And we actually can't go that way. That's really good. <laughs> Glad we went that way at the start. It could have gotten really bad. And I'm gonna see if we can't find some clues as to where we are. Oh, well, we're in Totori. Oh, does it say Totori Shi? Ah, okay. Well, that's something. So that is the main city. We're obviously in the mountains outside of it, so we're somewhere in this area. And what does this say? We're in Ueno. Ujira Sako. Ushi. Ufukubu Cho. Hmm. Do we see that as a train station? Yeah, we go Fukube. Sorry, Fukube. Go. And. I didn't see a tunnel. Okay, where is our little. Corner here. It could be up here somewhere. There's another Osaka. That's always fun. Um, okay, that's another city. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's Uemachi. Not Ue, no. Ugh. Come on. Okay, we need to find a road. Road number would be very helpful. We know the general area, which is not bad given how we had a, the start we had. About a minute 20. Let's see if we can find a road. Ooh, which way do we go? Look on the road. Problems in a rural area. Oops. Another car we're gonna pass. That was probably our best little area. I can't believe there's no road sign. It must not be a... Okay, this is probably the best we're gonna get. Dino... E... Oshitori... The lake? I'd really like there to be. It is Ike, it is a lake, but where is there a lake in this area? It's in the mountains. No, no tunnel. There's a couple lakes around here. I think we went past this garden. But that's about the best. I've got, unless this is it. Nope, that's not it. Oh, we didn't go past it, but we were awful close. Um, yeah, we tried to go this way, it doesn't let us. And maybe we should have taken a turn off onto this road. But that's all we've really got. That was the lake. Unfortunately, it's not named. So just by process of elimination, it had to be one of these things. 
I thought we might have, I guess I've got my directions mixed up. We could have done a little bit better, but 4-3 on that round. We didn't see any numbers. There is no number, but we did pretty well with that. Uh, it was nice to find Fukube. Go oh, there. And another mountain location as we get into this one. There's a bridge to our north. Okay, by the starting location. But yeah, Totori is really nice. Lots of beautiful mountain like this, but also has some pretty interesting beach stuff. Uh, it is home to the largest sand dunes in Japan. Uh, it actually was growing, and they stopped it because they thought it was going to be a problem. And actually were reclaiming it when it became quite the tourist attraction. So they actually stopped trying to take it away. Uh, I forget the, the, the terminology for restoring a desert, uh, but that's what they were doing. And so um, it has camel rides and um, like amusement park and, you know, activities for, you know, the, the family tourist to uh, partake in. Um, it was pretty fun to go walking around and, and checking it all out. Okay, now we're out of the mountain here. Let me find a road. Ooh. Was this some kind of sign? It's actually facing the other direction. Okay. Oops, what do you say? Wait a minute. Onoike. Was that the one we just saw? Oyama. Oh no, Osan Reku Reku Hotel. Ah, okay. So this is um what's often is I guess the easiest way to say it is the second Mount Fuji. Um, it's a Dyson. It's a big mountain that just sits all by itself. And it often looks like Mount Fuji, depending on what side you view it from. So it is to our south. So we are over here somewhere. There's a bunch of lakes for sure. You know there's a hotel too. I don't see anything that gives us more clues. We need to know what road we're on. I don't think that this road will have the... So, uh, ooh! Well, I was about to say, it is quite the cold place, even in the summer. Uh, what's really cool is on top of this mountain, I'm glad we got a spot to talk about it for at least a little bit, um, is a kind of natural spring bottling factory that I took a tour of. Pretty cool. And they shovel all the snow. It must be really close to the mountain. Uh, into a kind of warehouse. Yes, the south four kilometers. So we are pretty... It must be on this road now. Oh, and there's the blueberry farm. Uh, that's another thing, was we went to blueberry farms. I love blueberries, so that was really great. Uh, anything closer? Otori Kenri Otsuno. Young person's house? With only like 20 seconds left, that's probably our best. Ah, there it is! Okay, um, that's only 0.4 kilometers. We were definitely east of that. We must have started back up in here somewhere. Oh, pretty doggone close. We were actually on that road the whole time. I thought we hit an intersection, but I guess we didn't. Not bad. That's a really good landmark to have, though. The massive mountain. Uh, so that's really great. Uh, yeah, that's really good. That's really cool. I'm glad we got to go to that spot. Um, the sand dunes. Where is the sand dunes? I don't remember. They're along the coast somewhere. Oh, there they are. Near Ashley Totori Shi itself. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, other major cities, we haven't covered that yet. Uh, Totori, obviously, the capital. Uh, Yonago, very nice area. This is where actually I was up, and there's some uh, hot springs and some stuff around here. 
along as well as uh, pretty nice beaches close to the mountain you can go see. Um, Kurayoshi, which is not too far in between. There we go. And uh, Sakai Minato, which is... Should do this before I get on video, huh? Um... The, oh, there it is. I, I knew it was on the coast, but it was this way, not this way. On the edge. So those are the major cities. Obviously, a lot of this stuff is... Oops, I opened the uh, thing. Give me one second here. Open the location. Okay, we're back. Um, yeah, so most of the population along the coast with the big mountains and whatnot towards the inland along the Okayama uh, border there. So, yeah, um, that's about it. Uh, let's get into our next round. Um, the one tricky thing about Totori is that it is the least populated of all the prefectures. So it has the fewest people. Uh, which is, of course, what that means. There we go. We have a nice road sign right at the beginning. And I went too close. 29. Okura Pass is close. Himeji is very far away. Well, there's Himeji. So we're looking for the 29. There's the 29. Okay, what does it do? It kind of wraps in here. Okay, and there's a pass. Where's the prefectural border? Oh, we are right up against the border here, probably. Okay, now we need to figure out what's the other direction from us, because that's going to be the more helpful bit. What does that say? A point of interest is the... Obune Snow Station. Okay, I thought I saw... I thought I saw that. Oh, maybe I saw Uz Onzui. Gotta be near somewhere. Yeah, okay. Let's stop wasting time and let's try to find... Ah, no! No. There we go. Do not want to go on that road. I want to stay on this national road, which does wind through the little town. Okay, there's a river on our north side. What does that say? Oh, chain. We are in the mountains, obviously. Oh, there's the area code, 85, and it shares it with neighboring Shimane, so you have to be careful. Because there's so few people, it doesn't have an area code all by itself. Eramayakushiro. What a name. Okay. That might show up. You have to be, like, way up in this mountain's class over here. Yep, there it is, Teremaki Kushi Do, which is right around the corner. So we started up the road from that. There's a coffee store? I don't think so. Let's see if we can't get it. We need to go very north. We were heading north. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, like that. We see a bridge over the river. We do not. That's not a helpful. So oh, there is a bridge. To our south for sure. I think it's this one. And then. Yeah, big curves. Okay. So we start in a pretty straight stretch. Yes. There's a big turn up ahead. Small turn. Pretty close. The river is not close, but it does come back. That does make sense. There's that intersection. There we go. 5k. How about that? How about that? Wonderful. 
I like Totori so far. Hasn't been too bad. Um, ooh, this looks like another mountain location. Some pretty beautiful coastline, I swear, in this prefecture, but so far we haven't gotten anything close to that. Okay, what does this say? Akuyama. High mountain. Yeah, how original. Um... Oh, here we go. And there's no English. Interesting. Which means these signs are probably going to do a little bit better for us as they will give us a road number. There we go. Oh, Tatsumi Pass. Didn't we just see that? 482. Because the 482 was overlapping. Yep. So this one must be over here somewhere. I doubt we're in here. We must be on this stretch. I do not see any tunnels. To look for a town. Ridge. We are in Ka something Gi, uh, Kasegi. What's Totori Shi? Ah, okay, wait a minute. Volvo 482. And it does weave in and out. Oh, very clever. Okay, um, Iyama, Akeda, hmm. yeah, that's not it. It weaves in and out of the prefecture, which is really fun. Because it could be... I mean, it is part of Hotori P. E. Ah, ah, ah. it's maybe in here those kanji do match but this whole area it makes a loop like this maybe Kasegi Bridge. Hope I could find Kasegi, but I don't see it. Ah! Anjia Stagia Storo Park. Okay. We were in the right place, uh, and I didn't backtrack. So that was the intersection we were sitting at. What a find. What a find. Not bad. A little bit tricky that the road kind of dips in and out of the prefecture, like what, three times? One, two, three, and then it stays inside, but then... No, that's outside of it again. And a four. So that road, if you see it, 482 in Totori, make sure to check all the areas. Those town names, definitely helpful. Interesting, this is still... Uh, I guess that would be still part of Totori. I think we're looking too far over. I think I, I mistook this Totori for, at the first four 
Potorishi. Which is why you have to read kanji sometimes. Very nice. Okay, well, let's get into our final round. We've got a very, very good score. Potori has been pretty nice. Finally, we get some flat land. I don't think we're near the coast, though. A bit unfortunate. There's some very beautiful beaches in Onsen near the beach as well, but... There we go. So that she might not be a bad choice. Because we're going to hit a major road. Oop. Can we get on this major road? We can. Here we go. This is what we need. Maybe. There we go. Okay, the... Ah, west. Oyonago. Thayin free zone. Aisen is to our south. We're on the 279 right now. It means we are way over here. 279. I feel like we might be in here. A little peninsula. But I don't see... The road number, there's two, th 300, 244. Big enough to catch. Seventy-eight, seventy-six. Spending way too much time looking for this road. Let's try to find what are the other signs telling us. Ah, the nine. Okay, that'll help. Where is the nine? There's the nine. Very long, but at least gives us a route to check. There's a 278. Come on. 279. There we go. So we're here at the Yode Interchange. We came... from the west. Go north. We headed south a little bit. Yeah, that makes sense. And we find something. We are in a small little town. North and then east, but then east becomes south. Okay, there's some railroad tracks as we head east. Yep, sure enough. Those are railroad tracks. We're, we're back in here somewhere. There's not a lot of houses, so I'm thinking we might be... We didn't get all the way down to there, did we? There's no labels anywhere. We're either here or there. Oh, last minute adjustment. I was like, we didn't travel that far. Oh. Yeah, we didn't. I was like, there's no way we traveled from from this group where to go. From this cluster. From looking at now the map looks different why does the map look different than what I had before oh wait no it didn't take my adjustment and that was a good thing ah <laughs> oh man like why does the map look different because I thought we were over here 
But it thankfully didn't take my last adjustment because my first instinct was correct. We were up here amongst a bunch of houses. So 4954 for that one again. What a way to round out Totori. 23612 for our final score. Uh yeah, two locations over here near Yanago and one right on Dyson Mountain, which was great. Now we were sort of near Totorishi. Actually, we're technically in Totorishi twice and right on the border. Yeah, in the mountains. So pretty good variety. Uh, didn't get too much of an urban location. Uh, but you can really tell how fast it goes from like feeling like mountain to being flat. There's very little space on this west coast for cities. So yeah, that is Totori. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, any any bits of information I did not get to mention? Oh yeah, uh, the name comes from the fact that along the coast, the first settlers found an abundance of birds. So To and Tori is to take. So uh, to take birds. So this is a good place for fowl hunting, and therefore got the region's name. So yeah, one of our best games in a while. I hope you all enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time. I think we're going to be in Shimane. We'll see you all there. Take care.